hold ye shit together. Ancient times in a land far off, full of goblins and mages and kobolds and kings. Valiant men tempted evil's wrath for honor and riches and magical rings. Some found fortune, some found despair. But all found things they had not known were there. Now ages after, though the stories doth pale, their deeds live onward in our song of their tale. But none of that shit matters, cause it's really just pretending. And tonight we all are gathered here to witness these four men bring their dumb asses to a table. And talk smack to each other. And there's no mortal danger. Tonight four men with some paper and some dice will sit around pretending that they know how to fight. And move around some miniatures and say some made up words. While every move is second guessed by several thousand nerds. Casting magic missile and the darkness. These four men. These four men and their DM. Full grown men. Four best friends. Also Jim, and there's Al. Acquisitions Incorporated! Wizards of the Coast and Penny Arcade present The Last Will and Testament of Jim Dark Magic the First, a live D&D adventure featuring the player characters of Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> Jerry Hawkins as Omen Drive. Jim Dark Magic.
Gentlemen, let's roll. So how you guys been? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's been you? all right. It's been yeah. what, a year? And then you play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> is, this, is, it, is this not how it happens at your house? I... <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, it yes. is. And no. we are powerful indeed. Yeah. I think, I think and being I... funny is for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, there's your dude. Oh, thank you. Way to get the audience on your side, Scott. <laughs> Oh, thank you. They're pre against me, so I might as well run with it. <laughs> oh, wait, you got all of them killed, too? <laughs> yeah. Are we really began. starting already, guys? Really? <laughs> How quickly we forget when we all went to hell and saved them. We, we went, to them hell went to hell to save you. Thank which, you. I'm not asking any questions about why you're in hell. We just picked <laughs> you up and we took you out, no questions asked. I'm in hell because every person I've ever met who tells me I'm going to hell says they're not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Will, do you want the elf that looks like a girl or the Eladrin that looks like a girl? I want the... El <laughs> Listen, here's the thing about elves. Elves are the Eladrin's hillbilly cousins. <laughs> so I'll take the Eladrin who looks like a girl, thank you very much, because yeah. we deserve to look and feel pretty. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, I put your mini out there, too, so you can grab that. That's the bald one, okay. The bald one. <laughs> oh, man, I got a lot of good spells here. I have yep. so many cards. Do you like this table? It's nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Geek chic. All right. <laughs> this looks like a mercifully cut scene from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome in Wonderland. 
Listen. All right, I got all kinds of crazy shit. I built this character specifically to get people out of pools of acid. Oh. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not. Jerry, I have an opening for a new best friend. I wonder if you'd be interested in taking it. Where is that opening? <laughs> wow. What did you say? Where is that opening? You have to hit every demographic, people. Uh, that opening Acquisitions where... Incorporated as a brand. That opening's wherever you want it to be. Oh, ho! <laughs> I thought you meant like a job, but it's like, all right. No, I was, I was talking about something else. Okay, so, so they gave you a pencil? They gave you pencils too, they're in this Here, wait, pencil. no, you're a new, new best friend, have oh, one of my oh, pencils, perfect. I have two. Thanks. We look out for each other, that's what friends do. It, it don't even phase him. As uh, I recall, that, you guys have reconciled. That wasn't pointed, that was uh, loving. Not at all. Right. Everything's great. Yeah, good. I mean, don't split the party. <laughs> and everything will be guys, fine. Guys, 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 that was last year. Last year. All, right. all right. Now, are we ready to play Dungeons and or Dragons? We are ready to play both. All right. The question is, do you have your character stuff ready? Your... Oh, yeah. Excellent. Good to go. Cool. Is that an owl bear? That is an owl bear. Spoiler. Wow. I, haven't think, I don't think I've seen an owl bear since like seventh grade. Oh shit, that Camping fireplace or... is lit up yeah. for real. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna yeah, put that, that is too. beyond fly. Wow. Okay. The fire actually fires. The fire fires. Guys, we make way too much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually about that. Um. <laughs> So this is the new uh, corporate headquarters for Acquisitions Incorporated. Wrong. Oops. Oh, oh, this is AOFL's summer house. Wrong. Wrong. I, <laughs> I recognize it. Of course you do. This is the part of the Dark Magic Estate in New Hampshire. <laughs> a lot of good but memories from this I place. get ahead of things here. <laughs> you guys actually right now are in Fallcrest. Do you remember Fallcrest? I do. It's kind of where this whole thing started. It's a small town, very rustic, simple people. And in that small, simple, rustic town is an inn called the Silver Unicorn. That's where you guys have your base of operations. It's in the basement or the still, cellar. Still. Still. Level, You're level 10. 10. You're kind of lamenting that fact. Things have been uh, a little difficult of late. Your intern went off to Waikiki to surf the wave. Right. Down uh, economy. Yes, he took a bunch of your money. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't good. Uh, Mr. Stinky, he couldn't stick around. He just started falling apart. Aww. Aww. Emotionally. We, Emotionally. Had a, we had a theme song for Mr. Stinky and everything. Yes. <laughs> well, we can still hear the theme song. We want to hear the theme song? Yeah. yeah. We can still hear the song. So now it's more of a lament than a, than a theme song. Yeah, try to, try to bring you a minor key. <laughs> Actually, he demanded a raise. We worked very hard, hard on this. Mr. Stinky. Theme song for Mr. Stinky. <laughs> Going on his arm. Chewing on an arm. Getting special power. Binwin is my friend. <laughs> Mr. Stinky. Mr. Stinky. <laughs> Ta-da. So you guys are sitting around playing three dragon ante, Hold reminiscing on, I think about you the old days. Got my dice. What? You I think got Jerry dice? got my dice. Uh oh. How do you? What could? I some extra yours dice. look rad. What? Mine look dumb. So. Okay. okay. Well, that's that's cool. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Great. So you're playing, killing some time Wait, with three dragon. His you touch. I took his, his dice. Look, they're purple and, and blue. And that's just th so that's just how we do things now. We just touch each other's dice. We're just, we're just dice touchers. Listen, he's got a story to tell. Listen, I'm I just trying to hear it. This isn't a sad nice. story at all. <laughs> but, but, it, things, things go well. They could. Okay. Oh. It's all on you. All right, I have a dice at the ready. Okay. But right now, things kind of look a little grim because you've been in this cellar before. It's not a particularly pleasant place. Don't get me wrong. With Saria Osterman, she's great. She looks after you. She feeds you. 
you know, she makes your beds, she cleans your chamber pots, and puts on your clothes for you. And okay, all right, getting weirder. You get it, okay. Uh, but it turns out she is going off to live with her sister, and she's selling the place. God oh. damn it. Son of a bitch. So you are soon not to even have a crappy pet What? We're, we're, listen, we're going to have to... I caught my to... first kobold STD here. <laughs> we're we're going to have to... But forget about the bad stuff. You're playing cards down in the table the downstairs. Bad stuff? It was a fun night. <laughs> You're reminiscing about the good old days, like that time you went to keep on the Shadowfell and you kicked that guy Calorel's ass six yeah. way to Sunday. Carl. It was awesome. Good times. And you talk about the time when you went to the Storm Tower and you fought those bandits yeah. and you hung upside down on that ladder in Caspell. I did. I had the oh, double. Yeah. It was such a pleasure to watch you work that day. It was a pleasure to work. Yeah. <laughs> then there was that time you came to the rescue of Benwin Bronthbottom's father who had given up drinking. Um, hammer, hammer, hammer time. time. Hammer time. That's right. <laughs> yes. And forget about all the stuff that happened with the acid pit. Ah, that's eh, yesterday. That's not to dwell I on. forgot about it. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> well, how incredibly easy for all of you. <laughs> it was super easy. Minor setback. There was really nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> what? What would we mourn? It's like it's like a was slap there chop. A Exactly. Super easy cleanup. <laughs> I remember that time that my friend Binwin the dwarf, who's the only dwarf I really like in the whole world who I care about and would run into acid to save things from, said, go get him. Let's be serious. So, Binwin would never go into so, acid. So I did. Remember that time I threw the dagger and found the gelatinous cube that you wanted me to run into, but then I yes. didn't run into it. I actually hit it with a dagger because I'm awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I remember a lot of stuff about that And what that happened day. to you then? Well, let me tell you what happened then. Uh, I pursued the, the, the man uh, upon whom I had sworn oath of enmity, uh, mm -hmm. who at the request of my good friend, Binwin, uh, I was chasing. Yep. And then Didn't I... Didn't catch him, though. Right? Failed, failed Binwin on that. Right. Because, <laughs> because... It never got and him. And this is Never weird. got him. This is weird. What then happened was some fucker put a giant acid pit in the front door of that place. What, in the foyer? In the foyer. Like, Who why, puts did, an you, acid why pit did you, in the you foyer? do that? What about why the do you, Why do you even do that sort of thing? <laughs> and then, my... and the acid pit was triggered by a gong because, you know, that's practical. <laughs> Can, can and then, and then what happened technology. was I fell down it. Mm -hmm. and, and then, uh, as I was struggling to not die in the acid, rolling 19 after 19 after 19 after 19... <laughs> they put oil on the sides of the pit. I remember, because... <laughs> right. It was, to it was increase DW. the resonant sound of the gong, if I recall correctly yeah. from the plans. Then uh, what happened after that was uh, my friends continued trying to get magic armor instead of coming to save me. No. I came down and looted the corpse. Can That's right, you did loot the corpse. But the bad guys did raise you from the dead so that they couldn't... They did, and then they came back and saved me from hell. Yes. All right, so even, <laughs> even gets, Steven... That gets like a three-second, and then they went to hell and saved me. <laughs> I remember a hug last year. Yeah, I remember it too. Lots of things have happened since then. <laughs> it's been a long year. A long, cold it's year. It's been a long year. Fall, fall can can I mention that the Bards wrote a song about that event? They did. Oh, well. Bard split the party up and got Al killed. Acquisitions Inc. <laughs> so you're rubbing each other the wrong way, right? Playing cards. When suddenly you hear echoing through the cellar, Jim Dark Magic. Jim Dark Magic. Jim Dark Magic. Coming from. Hold on, do you guys hear something? Jim, dark. Yeah, I have a message. Jim, Jim, dark. Jim, dark. It's magic. Did you cast a spell to make your fart sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is there some Sorry. group of ruffians driving a wagon down the street playing music? I need to go yell at them to turn down. I always hear people whispering my name. Oh. Jim, you guys can hear it now too. Yeah. And then suddenly a mouth appears on a wall nearby and says. Jim Dark Magic, so I have a message downtown. for you. 
and then it coughs up something. Uh oh. <laughs> Who there. installed the glory hole? What the fuck? <laughs> what the? Volleyball? And then the mouth disappears. It's my message. Oh. The ball yeah, disappears or the mouth disappears? Here, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Jim the does not do disappears. good with puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Ball remains. No, I had plans for the mouth. Yeah. Good plans for the mouth I had too. plans for that mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's Let how you end up with a cobalt STD. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let daddy do it. You don't know it either. No, I got it. I'm really smart. <laughs> My aunt is 10. James, I'm writing this letter on a football because we're out of scrolls. Valcar no. was supposed to pick up some at the store, but he fell asleep and forgot. Sounds like Valcar. Yeah, it's kind of a Valcar thing to do. <laughs> He's dreadfully out of sorts these days and more drunk than usual, I'm afraid. It is with heavy heart that I tell you Grandpa Jim has passed on. <gasps> what? The family gathers presently at the estate in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. It would be all sorts of banana pancakes awesome <laughs> if, you, if you could join us for the reading of the will. All of your cousins are here, the living ones anyway. My have they grown, and fair Olivia has turned into quite the bushy bombshell. Woo! She yes. would be tickled to see you, I'm sure. Of course, I meant that in the good way, not the bad way. It's been so long since your last visit. I know you find the old house tiresome, but I'd be... Whoops! I've run out of football. Be a good boy, and don't keep old Snarl waiting. Well, Hug, Snarl. Grandma. Grandma. Wow. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. What are you guys doing this weekend? I mean, I was going to play some League of Legends. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I don't want to go I was going to make a TV alone. show, but I'll go with you. All right. You start to hear screaming outside, up the stairs, out through the inn, out, into the, out in the street somewhere. People probably screaming. probably for me. I'm going to run headlong into danger without thinking once about it. So you don't even put your helmet on before you run up the stairs? In game, the helmet is on because I have a very strong neck in game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Benwin Terras is up the staircase. Maybe as, you as guys he, as he, look at his he hand. runs out, I go, oh, hey, look out, there might be acid up there. <laughs> I replace, I, just, I replace his cards with shitty cards and then follow him up the stairs. <laughs> Straighten my cloak and follow. All right. I sigh heavily, collect myself up from the table, and walk slowly up the stairs. When you um, sashay, saunter, 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 saunter yeah. out the front I am door. I say, after all. <laughs> <laughs> the streets are pretty much bare. Everybody has scattered, except for Wasara, who's standing there with her hands on her cheeks. The reason everybody has run scared is that there is a big-ass skeletal dragon. What? With a dragon-born oh, oh. rider. The dragon came! <laughs> what? You ordered, you ordered a dragon? A dragon? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Oh. No, this is a deadly foe. Oh. <laughs> Powerful in life, unstoppable in death. Like get the fuck out of here. Oh. See? It's hideous and skeletal. Okay. There is a What? 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 <laughs> there is a rider on the back of this rotting, decrepit skeleton that you recognize as the family carriage. This is Kronk. Oh, Kronk. Kronk. Right, rider... guys, it's cool. <laughs> It's cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, guys. <laughs> yeah, you wrote on Kronk a lot as a kid. Man, me and Kronk. So no hit? <laughs> we go way back. Those no. are some adventures Hang that up. we have to tell. No swingy? No, no hit Kronk. <laughs> on Kronk's back is the driver, your coachman, Snarl. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Snarl, you know, is mute. Can't talk. That's what mute means. <laughs> right. Well, I, I knew that. Double checking. I can't believe the Dark Magics can't afford the kind of mute that talks. 
It's some, better when they don't talk. Yeah, that'd be a pretty some, shitty mute. <laughs> Believe me, the things I've done in the back of Kronk, oh. you don't want somebody to talk. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Kronk stays in Kronk. Exactly. That's why Kronk's all skeletal and rotting. <laughs> So gross. Yeah, so true. Kinda. I'm with you. Um, so anyway, Snarl is extremely old. He's been your family coachman since longer than you've been alive. Sure. And he's just there, just sort of looking at the scattering crowds impatiently, and he just sort of fixes his eyes on you and doesn't even recognize you at first because you're all, you know. Well, I grew a beard. Oh, okay. Well, yes, that would be an incredible why. beard. <laughs> on the beard scale, would you say it's a? It's a ten. It's obviously a Wheaton. Yes. There you go. <laughs> on, on the beard scale. No, that's good. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do, if anything? What's up, Snarl? Uh, my friend's here. Can, we, uh, can I hit your ride on Kronk? Oh, you can't talk. Just uh, <laughs> nod once. Give me one of these or one of these. It's cool, guys. Come on, get on the dragon. All right. Now, it's been several years. Don't walk behind the dragon, whatever you do. <laughs> it's been several years since you've had to mount Kronk. Um, well, I've got a girlfriend now. You people, come on. It's just a word. Uh, if it's just a word, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> So uh, you're going to make a skill check. It's an athletics or an acrobatics oh, yeah. check to Jim climb up not, onto the back Jim's of the Jim's great at both of those. This is not necessary. And the rest of you can just sort of watch and observe. Well, they're both a five. Gonna make so a skill check. I'm going to go acrobatics. Okay. Gonna make a skill check. <laughs> no, he's not. That's a ten. All right. Jim has a little bit of problems getting up there. Uh, he sort of slides down on the rib bones a little bit. Uh, then he tries to get his grip on some other bone. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you yikes. people are so fickle. <laughs> and uh, he seems to be struggling a bit. Having a hard time here, guys. <laughs> Dragging smaller when I left. I'll, I'll help him up okay. onto his own dragon. All right. <laughs> you give him an automatic plus two on yeah. his roll. You get to try again there, Jim. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Oh shit! I crit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, he gives me a little Christmas goose early. You own that motherfucking we, dragon. Yeah. All right. We have a thing for that. You do? I just crit. That's right. Crit music. Right. Crit music. Critical hit. How you like that shit? <laughs> Baby, that's what you need. Another critical hit. How much cooler is that? We right are, out the gate, I'm already rolling We are 20. fucking wrecked for all future D&D games. My second roll. My second roll. So once so again... you, like, spin around each rib like it's a stripper pole as you work your way <laughs> yeah. up to the top of the thing? Just, like, you weave through the ribs? And, yes. Yeah, good. So once again, you find success you by walking on the backs of your friends. Right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, anybody else wish to join him? He's right up on top now. I not... will jump up on Midway. this dragon. You're small of stature, but stout of heart. Yo, I'd like to give you a boost. Hey, that like is friends what... do. That's what she said. It's not gay if he's fey. <laughs> You're saying it's it's totally all right. Yeah. All right. Can I just give grab a, a boost, dungeon master? Just all grab right. a hawk. You just give him a plus two. Just grab a haunch. Right. One haunch. Here we go. I got a 13. What am I rolling? What skill? Acrobatics or athletics? Shit. <laughs> I got a 13 athletics. That's 26. Wow. All right. Uh oh. You just claw your way up that. Critical heat. <laughs> that wasn't a natural 20. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, don't give him the song. <laughs> Make him earn that shit. Here, I'm gonna. Uh, can you reach down and help me up? 
Yeah, you won't? I do. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Dost thou have a song for a critical miss? <laughs> this one's a cappella. Wait, I gotta find it. Boy, are they unprepared. <laughs> I'm not in game. You had a one in twenty chance to be a loser. Your lack of luck just makes me want to hurl. It's really rather scary how you rolled that just like Jerry. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's canonical. <laughs> Congratulations, you roll like a girl. A oh, tiny wow. girl. It's our characters singing that, not us. <laughs> we need to audit your privilege over there. <laughs> so, so, so do you fall off? I might, well... That's, uh, you know, I'll have you make a saving throw. Oh. Just a straight up d20 roll. As you reach over... Three. And fall over. <laughs> Listen, guys, we can't get on the dragon. I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Dungeon Master, you take three points of damage. <laughs> Aofel face steps to the top of the dragon. Aofel face steps to the top of the dragon. Sweet. <laughs> it's what we do. Can, can you Should I roll the high five or is that... <laughs> high five. High five. High five. Can I use my mage hand to just grab him and pull him up? No, because he weighs too much. <laughs> I set you up for that one. Yeah. I knew it only carried 20 pounds. <laughs> a little help, maybe? I mean, this little help, maybe? Can mm -hmm. I grant the help? I'll help him. I'm brushing no. my hair. I, 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 I can push. You can step I didn't mean on to roll me. That. 13. All right, 15. Is that going to be getting this fucking dragon? <laughs> Well, I don't know. The dragon doesn't like you very much. I whispered a Kronk. <laughs> Let me make a check. Let me make a diplomacy <laughs> check. <laughs> we'll call it a moderate DC. Oh, no. You want me to roll it? Yes, please. All right. Good Kronk. Nice Kronk. 21. Okay. It forgives you. All right. Aww. I pat its rotting tendon. All right. You are now lying at the bottom of the dragon, staring up at your friends. You got this. I got this so good. I am going to try to get on this dragon again. 23. I feel oh, confident yes. in that. <laughs> that was Aelfell. He was very impressed. <laughs> I thought that was the dragon. <laughs> A lot of people think Aelfell's the dragon. Oh. <laughs> That's your nickname in the Fae. And our Jethro Tull cover band. <laughs> at the, the Fae Clubs? He goes at the Fae Club. That's right. his name with the Fae Clubs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Although the dragon's all rotted out, its wings still have all their membranes, so it takes off into Great. the air. Thank God. All of the people in uh, Fallcrest stare up at you, and uh, one old crone on the ground, standing next to Asara, shouts up, Jam! Shut up, crone. Jam! Watch out for the ward staffs! What? <laughs> the beating of the wings, I imagine. Yeah, exactly. Is pretty loud. Watch out for the... Uh, you... I don't know what she said. Yeah, we're going to watch out for them, though. Huh. I think she said watch out for the wood chefs. Watch out for the... Oh. No, no, it was watch out for the woodchucks. You can make a perception check woodchucks? to see if you got enough woodchucks. of what she said. Woodchucks could be chefs. Dire woodchucks. You dire recognize woodchucks. her, by the way. <laughs> She's like this, this crazy woman in Fallcrest who, like, shouts prophecies to 19. people in the streets. With a 19, you, hear, you heard her say wartstaffs, which is kind of bad wart news. Wartstaffs. I went to the doctor for that. <laughs> it's gone! Don't worry about it! That was a long time ago. I got a magical mm. ointment. <laughs> Twice a day, but I did it four times. <laughs> Make sure. Yeah. So, the Wisconsin wart staffs. 
Oh. oh. They are bad news. Family of necromancers. Oh, I hate those guys. Yes. Yeah. You guys, I saw a lot of necromancers when I was in hell. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when you were I in Nam? Yeah. <laughs> no, I said you guys, said hell. Not, not Nam, hell. Nam was hell. <laughs> or, or hell. Yeah. Necromancers are dicks, you guys. Necromancers are dicks. AFL just stares off the wings beating beneath him, his silvery hair blowing out behind him. A thousand square stare in his eyes. He feels nostalgia as a standard action. A single tear falls from his, his perfectly black orbular eye and turns into a diamond as the wind catches it and carries it away. No, we can't make our shit turn into diamonds, can we? <laughs> He's got a roll for that. I'll give you the nostalgia. I don't know, I was racing by pretty fast. It could have been a Jim diamond. Jim turns the stereo up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You Dude, these a... are my favorite minstrels, guys. Have you heard these? <laughs> these guys are awesome. One Paul bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. I heard those minstrels open for Jonathan of Colton. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago in the village of Homlet, you guys probably don't remember. No. But suddenly it was a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon races across the landscape, bearing you safely, never-ending story style, to your destination. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What? He set you up, and he spiked it. Yeah. And eventually bears you to the familiar lands, at least familiar to him, of New Hampshire. Yep. And settles down in front of a vast, sprawling mansion uh, that has withstood the passage of many generations of great dark magic wizards. Wow. Okay, so your grandpa's name was Jim as well? Yeah, it's a family name. <laughs> His father's name was Jim as well. Are you Jim Dark Magic the third? I am. Is it like a real pretty mansion? It's pretty nice. It's not the nicest mansion. But it's a mansion, I guess. <laughs> Even in fantasy land, you're rich? <laughs> Not as rich. You can't ever be poor anywhere? No. Nope. They, they have a family song. Oh, they do? <laughs> <laughs> We are the Dark Magics, come see our bitchin' house. Our favorite young son is named Jim. And he loves to masturbate all day. Masturbate all day. Masturbate all day. Would you like to that's try? Not, that's not canonical. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Would you guys? <laughs> Would you guys like to dismount? Yeah. I, I want to so. Fred Flintstone off this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you can make, you can all roll at the same time. I'm gonna roll the dabba. Athletics or acrobatics? Oh. You can either climb down or leap down. 19. Splendid. 23. Face step. <laughs> you can face step again that quick? Yeah. He well, just needs like five minutes in a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. And what, uh, what are you, what, what's going on? Seriously, have uh, nothing's wrong. What's <laughs> wrong with you? 14, is that Fourteen. I think that's pretty good. I, I, I heard that was a... I don't know. 
audience is 14 good enough? Somebody tried to help you out with DC-10. Somebody down here is like DC-10. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, but all right. Think about oh, all the bones. Guess what? Man. You land on your feet. In a pile of dragon poop. Big pile of dragon poop. Of spectral dragon poop. Yes. That shit doesn't come off. No. Thank okay. You. you notice as you make your way toward the entrance of this grand house that there's a bunch of crates, like big black boxes being uh, transported into the house, like there's been some sort of delivery or something. You're not sure what are in these gigantic boxes, but they're being piled up in the central foyer. And there is a tiefling sort of supervising as these boxes are brought in. And he sort of looks at the dragon and sees it land, but he's trying to get, you notice he's not paying any attention to really anything because he's holding a decanter in his hand that is empty except for a little dribble of what looks like ale at the bottom. Hmm. And he swigs it and he holds the empty decanter and it starts to fill up a little bit. Oh, I knew you'd like that. <laughs> Delicious. Hey, Binwin. 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 Go be friends with that guy. Hmm. So I wander over to this tiefling. All right, he's there. Who orders 5,000 pounds of hamburger? <laughs> this day's getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, short dwarf? I am Valkar the Magnificent. Valkar, is your ale magnificent? My ale is not great, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's plentiful. Yeah. But my taste buds were burnt off in an accident years ago. Well, I... Along with my dignity. I just flew in from Fallcrest and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> and I would like a sip of your ale. Quench a diplomacy this... check. A what? A diplomacy check. Sure, no problem. Or intimidate, if you prefer. Well, hold on. Let's take a look at intimidate. I'll intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a give me your goddamn ale. Yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, uh, that's, a, that's a 19. Excellent. No, excuse me, it's a 20. All right. So I say, drink it on the job. Give me that fucking thing. <laughs> All right. He's so startled, he sort of lets it go, but you catch it. Right. All right. And take he, a little nip. Over your shoulder, he sees you. He says, Master Darkman. Valkar. You have deigned to return. High five. Whoa, too slow, Joe. <laughs> I get him every time with that one. He says, and these might be your friends. Hand, <laughs> they didn't say anything about friends. Listen, there's plenty of room. They can stay in my place. It'd be cool. Mm, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't suppose he told you what he did to me. It's not important, so no, I didn't say anything. Did he? Let me, let me ask you a question, Valkar the Magnificent. He's not magnificent. He's did right, he, I'm did not. He do, did he do something that ended with you at the bottom of a pool of acid? <laughs> if no, then not a fuck is given this day. I was the magician at his sixth birthday party. <laughs> I was better than him at six. He says, you made fun of every trick I did. You said, that's not magic. It's true, it wasn't. <laughs> you wound me. <laughs> says, where's my flask? Oh, Aelfeld took it. He's got it. <laughs> More like ale fell. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give him that. That's not what he needs. <laughs> and then uh, he says, and I've lost the receipt for all of this hamburger. I don't even know who ordered it. I am a worse butler than I am a magician. <laughs> 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 and he goes, <laughs> he goes stumbling off somewhere. He's a good guy. Yeah, free really. endless flask. Free endless flask for, for us. All right. for friendship, us. friendship, Chip. drinking from the flask. I'd like you guys to put your figures in the grand foyer of the house, if you would. Anywhere is fine. Look at the that foyer huge ball is filled outside with of the house. Oh. You haven't had good luck with foyers. 
Oh, man. Well, so place, place foyer. gingerly. So, so this is the grand foyer. Is there a lesser foyer elsewhere? Uh, there are no fewer than six foyers in this house. <laughs> this is the only one with a gong. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I hate foyers. Why does it always have to be foyers? <laughs> There's well, a fire burning in the fire pit. My, my oh, Benway. you see the fire? Actually lights up, isn't that cool? I see it, isn't that cool? <laughs> and then there are stuffed, horrific animals sort of posed around the room. A yeah, dire will, wolf, a dire bear, and an owl bear. At a dramatically appropriate moment. <laughs> hmm. Yes. And uh, as you are settling in, there are a pile of crates sort of being piled up in the middle of the room. Uh, yeah, you can, you can smell the hamburger coming out through the wood. It, it smells raw, though, like it's uncooked. Robble, robble. You should go stand on top of that hamburger and have Jim set you on fire, and then it'll be like a hamburger barbecue. You or, no. Coming, <laughs> coming down the stairs um, is a dwarf. Yeah! <laughs> Is she pretty? Yeah, he's got some sawdust oh. in his hair. But he's very good looking, like strapping and right. muscular and strong. It, you're on vacation. You know? I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Come on, vacation. New Hampshire stays in New Hampshire. He comes strutting down the stairs. And uh, you recognize him as. Dimsy. Dimsy. Dimsy Ansh. Dimsy Anwick. That's my name. Did you just almost say Dimsy Iron Chef? I did. You did? I totally did. <laughs> Dimsy Iron Chef. Today's special ingredient to our bear! <laughs> <laughs> and he says, Master Dark Magic, good to see you, man. Hey, pal. What's up? You looking good? Yeah, I'm well, Dimsy. Thank you. I'm the win. I'm the handy dwarf. I'm I'm a handsy dwarf. <laughs> oh. It happens fast. It, it happens. happens so fast. Listen, careful with Dimsy. All right, just easy. Okay. Yo, you get right to it. Yeah. You want to go uh, bang some rocks? <laughs> uh, you don't. no. You don't. <laughs> You I'm know, on there the, aren't that many of us. Unfortunately, I'm on the job. Come on. On the job later. Come on. You don't know what you're passing up here. No, after we win, you can go bang rocks all you want. All right. Later. Dimsy, cut him some slack. Give him some time to at least move his bags in. All right. I'm not pushy. I'll go put away my tool. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll be back for you later. Awesome. I want to see your jewels. Intense heat. So much intense heat. Yes, it is rather warm here in New Hampshire. The humidity is a little deadly. It's not like the West Coast at all, where everything's comfortable and it sun shines every day. <laughs> you notice that as you're squatting near the hamburger, uh, that the family cat has also taken to this bounty that is arranged in the middle of the foyer. Mm. You know the family cat's name is Gygax. <laughs> Give him a little scritch. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> and then uh, it sees you and it comes up to you and it sort of, you know, rubs its legs, no, its body right cats. your legs. And then, you hate cats? Binwin hates cats. I love cats. They sell a lot of books. <laughs> you put a cat on a book, everybody wants to buy it. And then, surprisingly, it just springs up into your arms, Holman, <gasps> like right into your arms. It, it's, not, it's not agitated by the holy symbol? Not at all. All right. I just, just to make sure, I press the holy symbol around at strategic locations. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> okay, all right, so it's good. It's a real cat. Like is that some is fucking crazy demon. sorceress cat? It's like cat. All right. It is a. Re it seems, by all accounts, to be yep. a real cat. You can make a nature check, and that will assure you beyond you any reasonable doubt. I'm satisfied. I just I set him up on the shoulder, okay. and just kind of let him hang out there, walk back and forth, okay. get what he needs. And Gygax the cat is 
happy to meet you. <laughs> Sweet. All right, uh, so, but you notice that you haven't seen any members of the Dark Magic family yeah. anywhere. Hmm. 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 Uh, when you look up the stairs, Jim, you can see... where's your family? I don't care. <laughs> Do you get along with your family? Not especially. Ooh. Bad blood? A little bit. Okay. Would up the like stairs, about it? those of you who care can see a gigantic crystal ball. Like, it's bigger, it's taller than you are. Uh, sitting in this great ornate device and it's giving off all kinds of weird colors and energy and behind it are shelves like it's part of a library although surprisingly when you look up that those shelves used to be packed with all kinds of magical tomes that people read now they've been picked clean Did they change my room <laughs> they took all my posters down maybe maybe that's you, like a workout room or something you, yeah. also, <laughs> you also notice that some of the furniture that you remember is gone hmm yeah, it's not quite like I remember it, guys. We had even more cool shit than this. <laughs> and then, uh, sort of coming out from an upstairs room and drifting down the balcony is this beautiful, charming, lovely girl with silver-gray hair. She's human, but she seems to have gone completely silver-gray in her youth, and she can't be more than 20 or so. And, uh, My guess is that this is the Olivia mentioned on the magical ball. Yes, indeed. And uh, this, this absolutely busty, not bushy, young girl. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Reading is fundamental, Jerry. Bust. Seems I had a much different image in my head of her, yeah. actually. <laughs> it's busty, yeah. She seems Guys. to move with a great grace, like music just seems I, to play with it. every footstep. I'm trying. Sheave it. Sheave it. It's my cousin, dude. <laughs> I know, that's what's making it so awkward. And she stands on the balcony, and she says, Oh, Jim. Olivia. Remember when we used to kiss in your bedroom closet? Fails! You sure you're not from Arkenhampshire? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that at all. That's, shut up. <laughs> That's dumb. I didn't do that. My brother Percival will be so pleased to see you. He wasn't expecting you at all. I'm sure. Great. <laughs> He says, or she says, we are just waiting for the arrival of Mr. Khan to read our grandfather's will. Well, I'm ready for that part, and I'm out of here. <laughs> she says, who are your friends? Uh, this is my friend, Ullman. I'm his boss, actually. This is my friend, Benwin. How's it going? And this is my friend, Al. My name is Aofel. She he, says, he just died. He's cool now, though. She says, Do you have last names? El Romane. I'm sorry? El Romane. Well, <laughs> Master El Romane, Manfred Sinjin, uh, welcome to our house. She says, There is something that I should mention to you because it might seem awkward later. My brother was cursed when he was a young boy by a member of the Wartstaff family. As a consequence, he can neither see nor hear Faye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind having that curse every once in a while. Yo, don't... <laughs> tell you this, don't ask, don't tell policy reads to end. <clears throat> she says, I hope you don't find it terribly awkward. Perhaps he won't find it terribly awkward if I don't acknowledge him either. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she says, the rest of the family has gathered in the dining room. All right, we'll go in there. Would you take my hand, Jin? No. <laughs> 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 
All right. Uh, she will graciously usher you past the hamburger crates into the dining room. <laughs> you can just put your figures in here. You might want to grab the other ones. Should I just save you some time and bring all the monsters in now? <laughs> <laughs> here is Olivia. She is going to sit next to Jim. Mm. I'll have her sit. <laughs> she can sit between. There we go. And I can ask incredibly awkward questions all through dinner. You notice that uh, standing in a corner here, uh, watching you nervously as you come in, is a suit of armor. And its head sort of moves and squeals back and forth. Jim, when you come into the room, it starts to get really, really nervous. And it just starts to sort of shiver. <laughs> You used to torture Clatterby when you were a boy. Did I ever? Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Wait, so you grew up with an animated suit of armor? You didn't? <laughs> I didn't even grow up with parents. There's a sad cue, Whoa. if ever I heard one. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so emo all the time? <laughs> It's not just a humorous affectation to win the loyalty of the audience. <laughs> At the end of the table sits your grandmother, Dolores. And uh, you can see that uh, she, and this has been true for years, she hasn't put her face on quite right, so it's sort of slid, slid, slid and peeled off on the corner. Just, so uh, you... just as a heads up, guys, my grandma's a real lich, okay? Ooh. Yeah. Olivia's brother, her cousin, or your cousin, Percival, is seated at the table and looks shocked and horrified when you walk in. What's up, Percy? And then he looks even more shocked and horrified when he sees that you have brought strangers. And he says, really, mothers? He said, what? He said, well, you're not sure. Do you want to ask him? I, I'm only What'd you say about my to... friends, Percy? He says, I didn't think you would be here, yeah. James. Well, I'm here. And actually, I what? brought more people than you even know about. <laughs> he says, I, I uh, AFL wings. You've always thought you could do whatever you wanted. I know I can. You're dumb. <laughs> says, I don't know what you're expecting. A shit ton of gold. <laughs> then Dark you magic. are going to be gravely disappointed. I, we'll see about that. Finwin farts. <laughs> Do you have a mini for the fart? Is that? <laughs> I, it's shaped. It's shaped like a dire wolf. Oops. <laughs> He's not there yet. There That's are some scary. other figures around. Uh, you see your aunts. Oh yeah. Uh, you see your aunt Wanda, who is Percival's mother, and Olivia's mother. You see your aunt Gorgon. Uh, Gorgon? You don't... Gorgon. Gorgon. Yikes. When you look at you see that Gorgon is actually a lovely woman from a distance of about 10 feet away. Uh, but she's got this bizarro headdress that's like a mobile. It's got little parts that sort of swing and move around. And her face, as you get close up, there's something a little odd about it. And when you look, it's like she's got ants crawling around on it. Ooh, real butterface. But... <laughs> now, it, it, it's not ants exactly. Uh, Aelfell, with your keen, sharp eyes and when with your low light vision, you see that her hat is made up of little cranes and there are tiny little microscopic people running around or hanging off her face, what basically shit? fixing it. Oh, I do not want to sit by her. <laughs> no. And uh, all she says when you come in is she turns to uh, 
the grandmother Dolores and says, my children will be along shortly. Ish. <laughs> and uh, you know her children are wretched and hideous. Okay. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> when you see, or when Wretched walks into the room, she is. Oh, that's a, their names. That's their names. <laughs> You're just figuring that out now, aren't you? You see that uh, Wretched Dark Magic is a willowy, statuesque girl, uh, very um, physically attractive, it would seem, except she's wearing a mask, a silver mask over her face. Her brother, Hideous, is only 12 years old. You see that when he enters, uh, he just looks like your normal 12-year-old spoiled brat, but he's got a swarm of snakes following him. What the fuck? It's like... <laughs> Your family's weird, man. Yeah. Why I don't go home? Oh, and did I mention there was a stuffed eagle in this room? Yeah, you kind of buried the lead on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, as you sort of settle down in the table, there <laughs> is a knock at the door outside, blah, 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 narrative, narrative, narrative. Uh, suddenly, the drunk tiefling butler comes blundering in with a man who appears to be made out of stone. But he moves, and he walks. And this is the family lawyer, Mr. Khan. <laughs> Does he walk in sort of a, I don't know, golem -y kind of gait? Yes. Okay. I recognize that. And he parks himself at the end of the table. Valkar the Magnificent, standing in the doorway, and says, Well, my work is done. If you need nothing from me, that's great. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and he blunders out. And uh, Mr. Khan, he pulls out a stone tablet. You don't know where he pulled it out from. <laughs> and he begins to read. This is the good part, guys. Get ready. Grandpa was loaded. All of the family has been waiting long for this. And he says, I, James Tarthanian Dark Magic the First. You're not my grandpa. <laughs> Your grandmother says, Oh, really, James? He's not, Grandma. <laughs> Has he been tricking you? What have you been doing to my grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Banging rocks. We can look at your comedy act and puppet show later. I told you she was a lich. <laughs> May I continue? Whatever. Hereby declare this to be my last will and testament to my darling wife, Dolores. I leave the ancestral mausoleum and my financial investment portfolio <laughs> to Martha, your mother, who's not here, Wanda, other aunt who breaks into tears at this moment, and Gorgon, mm. your girlfriend, no, <laughs> the unhappy widows of my three dear boys, I leave the sun, the moon, and the stars. Is that like nothing? <laughs> it's like a metaphor. Okay. Do with the them as you will. <clears throat> Yikes. To my granddaughter, Olivia, I leave my hope that you will find a wizard of caring demeanor and firm wand <laughs> to marry and to love someone with an appreciation for great beauty and caution to balance your wild nature. 
to my granddaughter, wretched, and grandson hideous. I leave nothing but the wish that you grow up to become powerful wizards and masters of your own fortunes beyond the reach of your miserable and undeserving mother's grasping talons. Grandpa laid it out. <laughs> Dropping some science. Yeah. <laughs> to my grandson, James the Third. Jim. A boot to the head. <laughs> That's for about eleven of you. I leave the remainder of my worldly possessions. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> including my name. The family estate and household staff in New Hampshire. Kronk the dragon. My cat, Gygax. Awesome. And my secret chest. Oh, I didn't even know about that chest. <laughs> you, above all others, carry the burden and the promise of the dark magic legacy. Guard it well as I have done. I will, Grandpa. You can count on me. The golem will take it, he'll put the slab where the sun don't shine, and he proceeds to get up. At which point, Percival... Yeah. Hello? What about me? Am I not mentioned at all? I know he can't hear me, so I say, you'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> <laughs> the golem says, and who are you exactly? I'm with Jim Dark Magic. Percival Dark Magic. Oh, right, sorry, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> It's a fake mm, name. I'm sorry, there is no mention of you. <laughs> but I was his apprentice for three years. Three years. He made me clean his chamber pots. For fuck's sake. Well, now they're my chamber pots. You're welcome to keep cleaning them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you who wander off and leave me here. You, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> he said the chest would be mine someday. You didn't even know about the chest. It was a secret. I totally knew about the chest. I was the only one who knew about the chest. It's my chest now. <laughs> I'm offering you a cushy chamber pot job. <laughs> well, actually, not too cushy. I had faith food for lunch. <laughs> that stuff goes right through you. The chest of the golem opens up. Ooh, a little bit of steam comes out. And there is a small replica platinum and gold jewel encrusted chest about this big hmm. that he takes out and puts at the end of the table. And then uh, he um, also uh, pulls out of a compartment somewhere else. <laughs> A small little key. And he puts it down. I snatch them both up. All right. Uh, Percival is beside himself. You see, he was sort of flexing his wand. It just goes... <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, mm -hmm. Such a Hufflepuff, that guy. And then he throws the remains across the table right into your chest. Like, <laughs> and then uh, the golem turns around and leaves. All right. Well, I want to pop the top on this chest. Uh, and uh, G Granny Dolores says, Oh, James, you always wanted to open your Christmas presents early. You should wait. It's a private moment. No, I'm opening it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, she says. And uh, she says, I hope it's banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> I wish your mother was here, but alas, she's upstairs. <laughs> well, 
All right. You know, your mother, ever since you left, she has been in this sort of perpetual state of delirium where she, does, she seems to exist in another reality completely. She refers to things that aren't there, people who aren't there. She doesn't know who you are. Uh, so you might see her, you might not. Whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> key, lock. Yes. As soon as you put the key in, uh, the chest does not open. However, a larger version of that chest materializes on the table in front oh, of you. Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> you that, finally got to see the Jim Dark Magic Magic. I did. Yes. It's amazing. Omen, you appraise that big chest as being worth about 25,000 gold pieces. Whoa! Oh, just the chest, the chest? Itself? The chest itself is worth that. The little one's worth about 5,000. Fuck that chest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about that chest. The cat no. leaps off your shoulders and like sort of studies the chest and sniffs it and all that kind of thing. As intrigued by it as you are, apparently. Oh, man. And uh, uh, you can see all of your cousins are kind of craning in. Yeah, you know, we don't have to open this here. I, I think we should put this on the back of your dragon. No. Okay. No, I want everyone to see the cool shit I just got. <laughs> and then they can all get out of my house. All right. You open up the big chest, which isn't locked. Inside, you see three books. They all seem what? to go together in a set. Books, you know what books are? Books? Vaguely. Um, and they're dusty and old and kind of crappy looking. I, hmm. But they got great titles. I pick the books up and set them aside to see if there was anything under the books. All right. <laughs> Cat will go over, sniff the books. Uh, you see Olivia and Percival look with great interest. Percival. Uh, actually, is not really looking with great interest. Uh, he's, he thinks you're just a total bastard. You're not very nice. And uh, you see there's nothing else in the chest. Really feel around in there, though. I, I, I want to check for secret compartments. Oh, very good. All right. Uh, perception? Yes. So this compartment is actually a double secret. It's a secret within a secret. 17. All right. Uh, you do find a secret compartment at the bottom. Oh, oh. Uh, a wand flicks up in the air. Nice. I snatch it. All right. <laughs> oh. uh, interestingly, interestingly, lately, lately enough, uh, you think this might be your granddad's wand. Grandpa's wand. Wow. Grandpa's wand. Grandpa's wand. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Bidman's like, wow, a stick. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, but there's nothing else in the compartment. All right. I well, look at the titles of the books. Uh, they say, The Manual of Awesome, the Volume of 1. Awesome. What? The Manual of Awesome, value, Volume 2, That's and Number sequel. 3. Uh, it's a trilogy. You can make an Arcana check. Anybody can make an Arcana check, actually. A what check? An Arcana, arcana. check. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to make one, Ben Win, it's okay. 27. 30. Because, you know, <clears throat> 30. 8. <laughs> 17. Okay. All right. Uh, I rolled a 16, but 27. Okay. Well done. You two know that these books are epic. That they are anybody who read these reads these books basically gets magically dumped with all of the knowledge of like a hundred different wizards. I grab Awesome Volume Two because I know that the second one of the trilogy is usually the best. <laughs> Now, and I might just take start a night. scanning through yes. for Dagobah. Yeah. <laughs> As you sort of flip through, you become instinctively aware that if you read this book from front to back, you could probably do it in a night, you will become so awesome that normal people couldn't handle it. You think, you think that this goes a long way toward explaining something you'd always suspected. Your grandfather was an arch wizard by the time he was about 21. Mm -hmm. And there's no way he could have done that with book learning. I mean, let's face right. it. Um, but you think if he had had a book like this and read it, he may have just gotten a... <laughs> power up to like master wizard status. These books are exactly what I need to take my show to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> These books are like skipping 11 levels. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. It's like those incredible CDs but you wait, see in after magic midnight. only, right? <laughs> What's that? Only in magic though, right? No, for reals. But no. <laughs> what I mean like if, if Binwin read the books, I wouldn't become a better dwarf. You totally would because these books are not all just about 
Mad Mad about they're about awesome. being they're awesome. They're about books. being awesome. Hey. They're the Listen, if you have to, awesome. if you have to have explained to you why an awesome book makes you awesome, <laughs> maybe you're not ready to read it. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I didn't multi-class. <laughs> Accidentally, okay. that happened to a guy I knew once. <laughs> <laughs> And it caused right. a lot of friction at home. <laughs> now, here is the catch. There's always a catch, right? Um, once you read the book, it disappears. So, so Grandpa couldn't have read the books? Not unless he recovered them. Oh, Grandpa, you're so awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> he probably dedicated, you know, 21 to 65 or whatever, 755, whoever, uh, getting those books back because in the wrong hands, what that was a pointed look at you and me. Yeah. I looked at all of you. Nah. Nah, no, I saw where you came first. You looked at us. Yo. In the wrong hands, like say in the hands of a wart staff, Ooh. they Ooh, could yeah. be bad that's news. That's no good. Yeah. Um, which occurs to you as all of these strange people that you haven't met in It's tad open ten years. here. Well, I uh, put the books back in the chest. The other catch is there's only three of them. That's enough for me. I don't, no problem. <laughs> What'd you say? It's enough for me. Wait, you don't know how to read, right? I can read. I'm hooked on phonics. <laughs> <laughs> so, like if you were to take volume one and read that, it would be gone. Somebody else could take volume two and get as much awesome as you. Well, sure, but I could also read volumes one through three, right? You totally could. You yeah. could keep them all for yourself. Done. Or you could share yes, with I friends. Could. Maybe your grandpa will leave you something rad. And... <laughs> remember, remember that, that, remember that time all... we were in the, the storm tower and then you guys were going to die and then I saved you? Remember that? Remember really when that don't. happened? It was pretty awesome. Jim has almost no memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me reenact it for you with, with puppets. No, <laughs> no? ring a bell. Not, it, it was pretty awesome. No. I mean, it's the sort of thing that someone, I don't know, might. Oh, Jim be likes puppets. For. Uh, your granny says, <laughs> that face was awesome. Your Aunt Wanda is still crying, by the way. She doesn't seem to be happy about anything. Uh, but your, your grandmother says, well, now that that's over with, perhaps we should talk about the summer retreat. We're taking the house to Neverwinter. Some, well, sometimes we take the house on vacation. You take the whole house on vacation. It's a traveling house. Really? You guys didn't have a traveling house. <laughs> this is getting weird now. Olivia says, I didn't year. have a house. I slept underneath a tree. We have, and I we liked have, it. We have a couple trees on the grounds. Put these books in your box. Close the lid of the box. Remove the key. Swallow the key. Get the fuck on this dragon. Let's get out of here. <laughs> your every person in your family is batshit loco. Some of them don't have heads. Some of them have heads that are being perpetually rebuilt. <laughs> Some of them are tiny children made out of snakes. Listen, we can have dinner and then we can go. <laughs> Olivia says, that would be very civilized of you. And it's been so long since we've seen you, James. Shut up, Olivia. <laughs> I kind of want to see the walking house. It doesn't walk. Oh. It just sort of travels through interdimensional space. Jim, did you hear the story about the guy who inherited everything at a dinner where he was surrounded by jealous, crazy relatives, and then they went insane and tried to kill him and his friends? I told you I have no memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. It doesn't ring a bell. It's yeah. a story we used to tell when we were growing up in the forest where we didn't have houses or parents. <laughs> we entertained ourselves with imaginary tales. Imaginary tales of, uh, of people 
Friends who said, perhaps we should leave. It's called The Tales it's of my the Friends house Who Weren't now, Listened guys. To. That's my cat. Have some dinner. We don't have to spend the night. We'll just eat and we'll go. It'll be cool. Jim, did you hear the story of the guy who inherited everything and then the crazy family no, no, uh, no. tried to poison Hold him? Hold on a second. Hold the food? Anybody here going to try to do anything bad? Jim, dark magic. No, see, uh, it's fine. We're being such babies. Hey, we do have all that hamburger. <laughs> And I have Raise a... your hand if you've died once before. <laughs> Does anybody else at the table raise Percival their hand? Percival says, ignoring you. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to sit at the same table with you. That's good. Wait, you get can't. The fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you and your three friends. Four. Oh, 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 yeah. You and your <laughs> no, six. Two friends. Eight. <laughs> There's a fake guy on your lap right now. <laughs> Aophel stands up, walks behind Percival, and he just sort of stands behind Percival's chair and does this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> you are not worthy of those down books. In a very dignified man. Yeah. You are not worthy to call yourself a dark magic. Dark magic. Dark magic. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up and leaves, uh, almost bump, bumping into you. Um, and then he just feels like he's bumped into. <clears throat> he doesn't know what he's bumped into, but he's so flustered. He takes his cape and. I taught him, him that. Yes. <laughs> By the way, you used to lock Percival in a closet when you were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as Percival walks by me, I would like to attempt to trip him. Okay. <laughs> Olivia says, Percival, watch out. Uh, 15 plus, uh, what would that be? Like a... Uh, You're basically making uh, an attack roll. Uh, yeah, Just so 15 plus whatever my basic attack bonus is. Basic attack. Yeah. Basic attack. Uh, where is that? Uh, did I mention I haven't played D&D in a year? Yeah. Uh, and I'm not really going to swear off the bend the on him as much as I'd like to. What, what's half your level? That's five, Half right? my level is five. And your strength modifier and is... And my strength modifier is five. You're so pretty that's, strong. Uh, so that's to 25. Also, he can't see me. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't recognize fame marriage in this yeah. state. <laughs> Yeah, that despite, one in my back pocket. Despite Olivia's warnings, he goes face planting down into the into the tile floor. Olivia gets up out of her chair and rushes over to her brother's side. Percy. And I Olivia, catch Jim. I catch Jim's eye. Olivia, <laughs> Olivia looks at you and he says, "She says you are a very, very cruel, cruel creature." Die and change is a man, baby. <laughs> She says, life outside these walls has made you cruel too, Jim Dark Magic. Shut up, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And uh, she helps her brother up, uh, whispers something in her brother's ear. Uh, her brother will feign, you know, mortal injury as he is hauled away. Uh, Clatterby will come over and provide a shoulder for Percival to rest his hand on, and the three of them will all leave. Uh, so I wanna, I'd like to summon Valkar. All right. Valkar arrives. We're ready to eat, man. You are, eh? Yeah, we want to get out of here before it gets dark. Magic. 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 <laughs> he says, yeah. no problem. I'll get on that right away. You got yourself a chest. She's talking to Olivia? <laughs> says, that is your grandfather's chest, no? Yeah, that's right, it is. Yeah, so you got the books, eh? Lucky bastard. Yeah, I got the books. He says, uh, 
You'll be a great wizard one day, Jim Dark Magic. A great wizard now. Dark Magic. <laughs> but you'll never know the dove trick. Are you kidding? That's like the staple of my act. What? Yeah, it's dove tricks all day long. Dove, dove, dove. That's all I do. People love it. <laughs> you stole my dove trick, you bastard. Listen, you did not invent doves. <laughs> How do you know? I could have invented doves. No, you didn't. I could have had the world. What have I got here? Where'd my flask go? This is what it sounds like hey, when doves cry. Says, I love you, Jim Dark Magic. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, never change, buddy. <laughs> well, it'll be right out. One of them will have spit in it. It won't be right out. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it, three that hours. Time, all they do is spit in. I haven't even showed you guys my crystal ball. <clears throat> Wait, let's go. Don't Can you we... have two? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... The sun sets. Time passes. You're sitting around the table awkwardly with your crying aunt Wanda, your facially reconstructed aunt Gorgon. Uh, her two children. Uh, you see, uh, Hideous is under the table playing with his snakes. <laughs> Wretched is sitting quietly, just sort of twirling her hair, wearing her mask over her face. Um, Maybe and, it's a face. And uh, Grandma Dolores is. Does anyone know anything about financial portfolios? <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, ma'am. My interest. Jim. James. Grandma. My now that the and... house is yours, yeah. I trust that you won't mind if I stay in my small corner. Well, I was been meaning to talk to you about that, Grandma. <laughs> this is I, uh, really a dwarf really walks in. Hey, I heard there was a party here. Well, no. Oh, I see it lives up to all the dark magic expectations. <laughs> dark magic expectations. Dark magic. <laughs> We're all sitting here rolling for not having a good time. <laughs> he says, you want a good time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> all right, it's not my style, but I'll roll with it. He will hop up on the table and he will start kicking up his legs. Yeah! He's wearing a skirt. Now I'm going to show you how dwarves do it. All right, you're going to get up there with him? Ooh, yep, cool. that's an 18. All right. And my, and my athletics is a 13. All right. So you're looking good. That's a bigger number than 18 now when you add them. Yeah. All right. Finlin and Dimsy will dance on the dining room table. And uh, can, can he sing the Bronze Bottom family song? Sure. Everybody's died, so until our tears are dried, we'll drink and drink and drink and drink and then we'll drink some more. We'll dance and sing and fight until the early morning light, then we'll throw up, pass out, wake up, and then go drinking once again. Hey! All right, the, as this happens, uh, Aunt Gorgon is sickened, and uh, she excuses herself, and her cranes go wildly around her head as she sits up, and little bodies go flying off in all directions. And then she, she says, Wretched, hideous, come with me. This entertainment is not worthy of our name. And uh, she and her spawn <laughs> will depart. Probably because she knows more than anybody that dinner isn't likely to arrive anytime soon. Uh, but they go out the back door. It's roughly at that point, as soon as they leave, when everything changes around you and the table begins to shake and the pictures on the wall begin to reverberate. And uh, I, make a, I make a side note to Jim. I say, isn't your Aunt Dolores part Wartstaff? Her isn't she grandmother. Isn't, isn't your grandma married to a Wartstaff? No, but that's a fine, fine guess. Uh, Dolores Wartstaff married into the Dark Magic family by marrying his grandfather. 
because she wanted to get away from the family. Oh, okay. It wasn't, right. There was no alliance there. She is an exile, basically. Okay. It's this kind of world building that makes book four of the Dark Magic Saga such a slog. <laughs> <laughs> well, good news, Jim. Or Jim. Ben Wynn? Yep. Yep. You begin to realize very quickly that the entire house is shaking in its foundations like it is going somewhere. Yeah! And, Walking uh, house! It doesn't <laughs> walk. You all begin, and everybody in the room seems very surprised by this. Uh, nobody knows what's going on, and then you hear this horrible ripping sound, like part of the house is being torn off. And you know that's not normal. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shoot straight with you guys. That n noise does not usually happen. Did I ever tell you the story about the guy who inherited everything from his family? And then he listened to his friends and left before the house ripped himself in half? I actually don't remember Yeah, because it hasn't been written yet. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> but it quickly becomes so apparent mean. that something is horribly, horribly wrong. The house has left New Hampshire, and uh, it seems to be tearing itself to pieces. Oh. Well. Is there an observation deck where I can is... see its feet? <laughs> Unexpected. It yeah. doesn't have. It yeah. magically moves. Okay, listen. Oh, does your magic ball have anything to do with any of this? How do you move the house when you move the house? You know that the big ball. That's basically what people use to control the house. Guys. Yeah, my big ball is where we uh, steer the house from. Okay, you guys, it does you guys, more than that. Guys, it's a multi-purpose ball. Guys, I know a guy who used to drive a spaceship. That's basically a house. <laughs> You hear it's more parts of the house become broken off. Like the house That's is... probably the crappy parts. <laughs> so we should get to the ball. Yeah. If you want to make an arcana check, anyone, you can oh, yeah, try to ascertain what's going on. Finwin, don't bother. Oh, jeez. Oh, you never know. That's amazing. Six. <laughs> 34. Okay. 20. You think... You think you're in deep shit. You think that the house isn't just breaking up, like parts of it are being sheared off and sent to different destinations. Ooh, which has okay. never been done before, to the best of your knowledge. Uh, and maybe never will be done again unless you do something about it. Huh. If you think okay. splitting the party's bad, splitting the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what I'm talking about. I stand up, ladies, gentlemen, organisms. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I run out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that fucking dragon? All right, when you run out of the room, you can see through the big glass uh, iron-covered windows that lead to the gardens of the Dark Magic Estate that you are hurtling through some sort of void that New Hampshire is gone. Just looking up, it's, we're just huh. surrounded by it. Yeah, you are in transit. You are kind of rushing through. <laughs> Good. Enough said. Uh, yeah, so you're trapped. Well, I, I want to make my way to the Oh, ball. you can also tell that the house has been sheared off, like here. So basically it's, oh, it's this room, cut this room, cut and this room. Yeah, the rest of the house is gone somewhere else. Right. Before, Before you, you come out here, here, get that key out of the box. I've got the key in my pocket. Do you have the box? Well, Come they in. don't... I have the key. They can't get into it without the key. I pick up the box. <laughs> when, the, little, when, the little box. I pick up the removes, little box. When he removes the and key. I, does, and I run after them. Does it become a little box Mike, again? will you put me in the doorway? Uh, no. Oh. Are you the one that looks like a woman? That's the one. <laughs> don't touch me there. <laughs> Bringing big, strong dwarf out, too. As soon as you run out, you or, realize or right with, away okay. what's going on. You see That's Percival up there. Olivia, next to him. Damn it, Percy. God damn Clatterby. Slytherin house. Clatterby, god damn it. Standing at the top of the stairs. God fucking damn it. And when you come out, Clatterby just sort of looks nervously at Percy. Percy is doing his thing in front of the great ball. He's got a big staff out, and he's just... Oh, come on. 
watch. He's got a big staff out and he's just pumping it full of energy. You went for it. You went for it the second time. And the, the ball is going wild and... <laughs> Keeps going. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what Percy's do you do? stage name Peter North? I just want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you don't get what that joke means. Hey, Olivia, tell your stupid brother to knock it off. She says, I tried, Jim, I tried. Percy says, give me the box, Jim. Give me the box or I'll drive this house into the abyss. What box? <laughs> don't you lie to me. You guys know what box he's talking about? No, I have about? no idea. Give me Boss. the box. The chest of the books, you moron. Oh, no. <laughs> he stops. He holds his staff uh, out in your direction, and he says, <laughs> 48 inches, buddy. Wait, what I do have... you got? I have the... Um... Two wands. I have the little box. Three ones. Yes, you do. Three he ones. can't see yeah. me. He cannot see you. So um, I uh, spirit the little box beneath my cloak. Okay. And then I step out to here. Mm -hmm. And I hold the box up sort of in a mocking, jaunty box move. <laughs> uh, I toss it from hand to hand. Uh, he moves over to the top of the stairs, Olivia behind him, and uh, he immediately begins casting a spell that sounds like Mage Hand. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I got this, guys. Okay. Percy, you are surrounded by my fey army of <laughs> fey warriors. They're all fey. Olivia says, don't listen to him. There's God damn one. it, Olivia! <laughs> <laughs> And, uh... I really thought that was gonna work. I, Percy whispers to... He, he turns to his sister and says, Where is he? And she sort of guides his staff. You knew that in your funny. direction. Obviously the house has moved to Germany. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Plus my initiative modifier of seven, twenty-five. Wow. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. How'd you do, Omen? Jerry? Yeah. Uh, I'm oh. at fourteen. Okay. Eighteen. All right. Aofel, as uh, she's, well, you know, you know the story. Uh, <laughs> you get to go first. I swear oath of enmity on uh, Percy. Okay. I look at him, and from the darkness, Percy hears. That's how it happens. <laughs> All right, enjoy it. Does anything happen? <laughs> <laughs> he gets oathed. Yeah, he gets oathed. Uh, so now um, uh, I'm going to uh, try to remember what I can do. Um, I'm going to move. Uh, so what I want to do is get, like, you know, here behind him. Oh, I can okay. do that in one thing, right? Yeah. Totally him. Great. One so, thing? Yeah, one thing. Yeah, I can actually, um, I can bamf pretty well now. Uh, so where's my... Uh, you are right. 5, 10, 15, 17 squares away from that destination. Okay. So, uh, come on, nerds, help me. The answer is no. 
So my movement is... Uh, Let's say you can do 10. Okay, great. So I'm going to move... I'll move 10. Uh, 1, 2, 3, He's 4, special. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to get... You I'm already gonna get, split the... I'm going to get... No, I didn't. We're in the same room. <laughs> it's a big room. Look, Mr. Roll's initiative in the teams. I don't need you to tell me where I can go. Wow. Ooh. A pit of acid opens up underneath me. Oh, ah, son of a bitch! Nah. Um, and I'm going to, uh, uh, and can I, can I, I can, I can attack him, right? I can, I can, uh, You can totally do something cool. Great. Pitching. Everybody in this room is waiting for you yeah, to do something so cool. Then, then I, uh, I, I use, I use, uh, divine, I use that. <laughs> um, right. Oh, wait, we got a thing. You do? Oh, no, Don't that's blow not the it. daily. Don't blow the daily. Uh, I use Melora's tie. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> okay. Oh no, that's it. I don't really have any uh, melee. I mean, I don't really have any ranged uh, things except like like basic thing. I don't look. I don't see that. It's not there. I'm telling hey, you. This is a classic. Hey guys, remember All when right, so we used to play D and D and we didn't have I hecklers know, in our game? Remember you guys that? D &D. It was All great. Right, Isn't this fun? Aren't you guys glad you waited in line for this? <laughs> um, you can't find a day. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Yes. I'm gonna delay. All right. Because I've been doing that really well. You, have, you ready your action? I'm gonna no ready problem. an action. Ben win. Wait, I can I go before you? I can really do. No. It. You're 18. No, but I'm He's asking 24. him. Like I want to look at Ben and go. Oh, wait. that's a free action. That's fine. Yeah, wait one. Permission to attack the female. <laughs> I can help you. Go after Jim. Go after Jim, it'll be fine. Huh? It'll be fine, go after Jim. When has it ever worked poorly for you? All right, what do you want me to do? Just get ready for the Jim Dark magic. Magic. Jim, Jim Dark, Dark magic. magic. So do you want me to just Hold. move? Do you want delay? D delay your action. Delay. I delay. All right, the bad guys go. Oh, shit. Oh, gee. <laughs> it's cool. It's all right. No, it's not. No, it's fine. It's uh, still... Olivia will re-guide her brother's hand, so the wand, wand, staff Who? takes aim at you, Aelfell. Who is that? Olivia? Olivia. The bitch I was going to throw my axe at? <laughs> you were going to throw your axe 30 squares? I can right. run a bunch, and I can throw it 20. That's pretty far. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's pretty far. A big, hot bolt of lightning leaps out of the end of the staff, strikes Aelofel, rolls... See, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> rolls a 32 versus your reflex. <laughs> Might uh, just hit, huh? Yeah, it totally missed me. <laughs> it says right here, my reflex is a thousand. Does he, does he get any benefit for his jazzercise headband? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a very good question. Thank you, Bard. Do I get a benefit for my jazzercise headband? <laughs> yes, but Sweet. not against him. Because oh. he can't see you. Okay. Um, it, <laughs> balls. You get a plus okay, two uh, roll. In that case, um, I will... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, get hit by him. There's nothing I can do. I don't have any interrupts. Right. How much does he hit me for? He hits you for... Zero? Does he hit me for zero? Yes, zero. He hits you for 22 points of damage. Oh. Really? Are you sure? Are you kidding? Yeah. That'll sting you. AFL, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. It's pretty bad, actually. Okay. All right. <laughs> Look out. AFL, stop. <laughs> no, wait, don't murder. And here's, here's the bad news. He doesn't stop zapping you. Lightning continues to pulse out of his oh. staff and just... Psh, you have Soon ongoing lightning it. damage. Oh, Jedi! God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Christy Canyon in Wet Big Asses 2. Now see, that's a stereotype. What? That's why he doesn't No, see that's you. an historical fact. Oh. All right. 
Uh, at that time, uh, Olivia, hmm. uh, she has a wand which she will pull, draw forth, and uh, she will point it at the stuffed animal beside you. Oh. Or more precisely, next to Binwin. And when she hits the stuffed animal, it animates. Hold on, Kika, we've done this room <laughs> in our guild, in Utgard Keep. <laughs> Don't worry, I've tanked this. <laughs> I know what to do. All right. And... I'm going to handle it just like I did that last raid. I'm going to watch Voyager on Netflix and kind of pay attention. <laughs> Kind of paying attention is the best way to enjoy Voyager. <laughs> Does a 21 hit your armor class? No. All right. The no. jaws of the wolf snap at you, but you deflect them easily. Uh, Olivia says, Clatterby, don't let them get up here. And she will just stay where she is. Uh, what would you like to do, Jim? Uh, Jim produces from inside his cloak a illusory key, okay. which he uses to unlock an illusory gate and cast Arcane Gate. So I'm right. going to open a portal between where Binwin is standing and... Yeah! <laughs> so I push the door open. <laughs> Please beat the shit out of my cousin. <laughs> and yes, I did just blow a daily. All right. Binwin, I believe you have an action prepared. <laughs> well, shit, now I only need to move one. That's right. See? <laughs> Is this back to me? Uh, technically, there's no back Man. to you kind of dealy here. All right. Well, shit. Hey, take it easy. I had to go to 13 years of cartooning school for you guys to yell D and D moves at me. This is my job. And there's no way I can take longer to decide than Will did. So, oh nope, you just did. All right. Just hit your dwarf. Since this guy is attacking my friend, I'm yes. going to take him down with a takedown strike. Uh, trigger, you hit an enemy adjacent to you with an attack. Oh, that's just a fucking no action bonus. I get to do something else. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. You ready? Let's do this shit. I love it. <laughs> 12 plus 16 versus armor class. Okay, you hit. Yeah! Woo! I know, the drama! What do you do? Well, first, I do a shit ton of damage. It's the best kind. Uh, 21 points. Oh. Now, this is a takedown strike, so I sweep the legs, Johnny. <laughs> no mercy! No mercy! He takes extra damage from the triggering attack equal to the ability modifier used in the trigger triggering attack, which right. I believe was strength. strength. Yep. That's right. So that's an extra 10. Holy, Holy. 
Somebody's been working out. And he is not prone. All right. Does he fall down the stairs and land at my feet? And I, uh, I use a minor action to look over him and say, please state the nature of the medical emergency. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As, the, as he falls over, the lightning blast that was targeting you just sort of goes up into the air. And as it does, it blows a hole, a crease, right through the ceiling. Okay, that's less good. And gold falls out. What? My, hey, that's big... my gold, though, because my attack triggered it. <laughs> hey, I opened the gate so you could get over there. But it was my... It's my house. It's all my gold. <laughs> yes, a rainfall of gold cascades down and just sort of falls around you, Alafel, like the, a golden shower. <laughs> And then, sadly, it stops. Does it, uh, does it get in his hair and on his glasses? <laughs> his, jazzercise head, his jazzercise headband keeps it out of his eyes. <laughs> Splash him. <laughs> I'm a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing your children to porn and D. <laughs> Aelophel, are you content to still stand by and hold your action? Uh, yeah, I've got, you know, Aelophel's a stabby. He's not a throwy. Okay. No worries. If you'd start is he a runny? Is he a walk up to an enemy? Oh, well, Jim, did you want to walk he anywhere, or do you like being by the animated wolf that can bite you? Oh, no, I'm going to use my move action. Okay. Yeah, you're not by that crazy dog. And... Let's see. Can you right. Jim Darkman. I'm good. <laughs> He's walking. I'm complete. All right. Sorry. Your turn. It's fine. So it's just me and this dog? Just you and the bitey dog. I opened a uh, magic gate for you. But I can't walk through it without being bitten by the huge dog. You would provoke an oppie. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you know what? That's fine. Um, I'm going to step back. Mm-hmm. Which is to say, shift. Um, and I will dismiss this creature to the void. All right. Do you have to make an attack roll on that? <clears throat> I do. It's wisdom versus will. How high oh, can a then dog I surrender. will be? What do you say as you dismiss it? Then you win. I stand, I, I pull back, and my, my hammer is itself my holy symbol. And I say, go away. <laughs> Twenty-nine versus Will. All right, it is hurled into the void and disappears. I know what I'm going to do. But technically, I know what I'm isn't doing. the void just right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just appears out here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's about 20 feet away. I can see him <laughs> falling at the gate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my delayed action. Olivia's like, Mr. Muffy. Um, I'm going to face step, and since I'm face stepping toward my uh, 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 Oath of Enmity target, I gain an extra five squares, so I'm actually okay. going to... Hell yes. Uh, yeah, nice. so, so uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain that I, that makes yes. it possible for me to go, He's like... Um, yeah. uh, you, you uh, be, no, I don't want to be there, so I want to be yeah. like here. Okay. Does that count? Yeah. Can I do that? That's perfect. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and uh, so that was a move, and uh, that was a standard, and don't I'm Don't forget, gonna, you have action points, too. Yeah, and I'm going to action, action point... point so that I... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that's right. Action, action point. point! I'm going to action point to use aspect of might. Ooh, that's, um, a, that's a good aspect. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, a three weapon plus whiz plus four damage. Oh. Um, uh, and uh, then until the end of the encounter, I gain a plus five power bonus to athletics, two to power to speed, and a plus two power bonus to the damage rolls of melee attacks. Dude. Wow. Wow. So um, this is... Yeah, so you this remember is, it, right? Right. Um, somebody out there help me make sure I don't forget any of that stuff. Um, plus, I get a... Uh, Pony. Um, I, add my in, I, add, <laughs> I, add, I add my intelligence modifier to damage against my Oath of Enmity target every time a different opponent hits me. So that's good. 
And uh, I'm just trying to see what this is. This is uh, uh, versus AC, so. It's simply oh, not oh, done. It's really? Not, yeah. William. <laughs> this is an old die. It's, I've had it since I was 14. Oh, so. is, that, is that the Black Arrow? This is indeed the Black Arrow. Black Arrow, fly true. Uh, that's going to be 26 versus AC. Yeah, come on. Yes. Right, wizard. <laughs> All right. But only because... Only because he knocked his sorry ass prone. Oh wow! So, oh wow! Okay. That's, so okay. his AC okay. is actually. And then crazy. Um, it's not the first uh, time I've double teamed I'll... somebody with a fade. <laughs> uh, and not this is lie. this is uh, 3d8 plus 10 That's uh, a lot. damage. So let's see, 12 plus another 5, 17, 27 Ow, uh, damage against him. All right. And uh, that was the daily power. Aspect of might, ladies and gentlemen. Aspect of might. <laughs> All right. With two big hits, you have bloodied Percival Dark Magic. Good. What's up? I'm seeing and It's not the first time me and a fey guy have bloodied again. <laughs> oh. Too much. Jail. Too much. You lost him. You lost him. You made him turn on us. Wow. Now you're going to jail. Huh? All right. Now you're going to jail. I'm nothing. All right, what's next? Next Straight is... Straight morning. Let's see. You delayed, you delayed, you delayed. Percy will cry out, Okay, okay, I've had enough. Stop. Stop. I bet he's... I bet he's shooting straight. Yeah. He's yeah. got blood running down his face from getting smacked in the head. He's got stabinated by Mr. <laughs> Super Mighty here. Uh, yes, you can see he's a total puss. Um, and he, uh, as a gesture, just sort of hurls his staff down the staircase. <laughs> and Olivia... Uh. Olivia does nothing except kneel down and sort of cradle over her, you know, wounded Do brother. Do I know how to operate this uh, sphere? You've never done it, but uh, you believe that using one of the family's staves would help, help you do that. And this All is right. certainly one of them. Well, I'll pick up the stave and I'll say... Uh, uh, you're not there yet. Oh, I can't get it. I have to pick it. Okay. It's over by the bear. Are we out of combat? Uh, you would think so. <laughs> So he threw it down by the bear, literally, that's what happened? Yes. He threw the staff by the bear. Yes, he threw the staff by the bear. I'm, I would just go get it. Well, Percy? <laughs> Percy, are you seriously done? He says, I don't know where that attack came from. He says, I don't want to die. All right. Hey, Jim, did I ever tell you the story about the guy that went to his family house and then, he was, and then his friends were like, you should leave. You but win, then, Jim, Dark Magic. And then the guy you was like, win. oh, no, I won't do anything you bad. And then he did some win. bad right, stuff. Listen. And then he was like, okay, no, I promise I won't do any bad stuff you again. You come here. And it turns out that he you actually did fly. more bad stuff. Don't lash your hot shit around. Remember that? This was a story. We told this story <laughs> in the alienage. We love it. Olivia, this. help me up. Uh, Olivia? Will you take him like... I guess his room's probably in the void. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, don't, don't kill my cousin, guys. His aunt's going to be super mad. At which point, uh, Aunt him. Wanda find appears him. Mom, behind you. Him. Aunt Wanda? Aunt Wanda. She's the crying one. Son of a bee. And she says... Hey, Aunt Wanda. <laughs> He's not your cousin, Jim. He's oh, your brother. Kill him. Oh! What? Your brother. I... He's, he's your brother. But if he's my brother, then is Olivia my... I stole them out of your mother's womb because I wanted children of my own. Christ. 
your family has fucking <laughs> issues, man. I what just want the children to have my own. You can keep your walking house. It doesn't walk. And it's golden shower. Olivia's like, <laughs> Olivia's like, you have got to be fucking kidding. Mother. And Wanda covers her face and just runs away. Wow. Wow. Well, thanks for that interlude. This is, uh, this is a more You can see uh, Percy is horrified. Horrified. I just, I just looked at the figures up here and I was like, wait, how's, who's the other girl? Oh, that's Aofel. <laughs> well, everything's going according to plan. Okay. I really don't want you to kill him now until I get this shit sorted out. Let's just bring the house back. Yeah. And then I'll figure this out. All right. Yeah, so, you, so he needs a family staff. You hear a voice that says, oh, I don't think so. Great. Now, no. something you guys don't know is I write this weekly column on the website called the, D &D, the DM Experience, which is all about being a DM. And I put a poll up there on Wednesday. Uh-oh. And the poll was, um, which member of the Dark Magic family is actually an evil spy for the Wartstaff family? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And the votes are in. It's the cat. Yeah. Go back now. What is it with the internet and cats? <laughs> All right. I'll uh, tell you Omen. who doesn't betray people, Maru. The cat is on your shoulder, Fuck. and it's, ta it's talking, <clears throat> and uh, it says... <laughs> uh, and uh, it says, the books, please. You can't even read, you're a cat. <laughs> I can right? have yeah. books. No. What's he going to do with it? How's he going to turn the page with his little paw? I mean... <laughs> they're not for me, they're for my family. And uh, he says, boys. At which point you see the crates of hamburger begin to rumble. <laughs> and the cat says, you of course know that the wartstaffs are necromancers. Guys, I told you, necromancers are dicks. Exploding out eat? from the chests are four minotaurs. Oh, shit. <laughs> that have been reformed from their hamburger components. Okay. We are fucked. Let's yeah. hear it for team not down there. And the cat will say, I'll ask you one more time, Jim. The books, please. Uh, this took a turn for the worse, fellas. Um. <laughs> no. I can't. No. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. I can't give up the books. I can't give up the books. Yeah, and we're totally cool. Fuck off, cat. <laughs> Well, no, I have uh, expeditious retreat, so I'm good. <laughs> did you guys? Did you guys not take that? Are you not wizards? <laughs> I, 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 listen, I've been to hell and back, and I did not go to hell and back to let some fucking cat come up here in my friend's house and tell my friend, me and my hamburger train are gonna take your books. Fuck you! Yeah. All right. I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still eat. I'm Jim, what would you like to do? Hamburger. Uh, I'd like to... Are we still in initiative? Yeah. And is it my turn? Yes, it is. Jim, 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 Jim. 
In that case, I'd like to cast Magic Missile. <laughs> on the one right here. On the cat. That's oh, on, on the cat. cat? On the cat, yeah. Is the cat near me? The cat is on, is right by him. Right by Omen. <laughs> Do you use one or both now, wands? here's the thing. Am I reading this right? Magic Missile, it doesn't look like I have to roll for it. It always hits. Always hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Magic Missile, then, with my magic wand of plus three. Okay. Is 11 damage to All right. the cat. That takes the cat out. You have to AP and go nuts on All these right. bulls. All right. Next, Benwin. Mm. Actually, can I action point? Yes. Okay. I'm going to action point, and I am going to use uh, <clears throat> Fire Scythe. Fire Scythe? Yeah. Wow. Your allies all have a split second warning. The, ne the necessary time they need to duck beneath the enormous flaming scythe summoned by your magic. Pull out Grandpa's wand. For yeah, that. use Grandpa's all wand. Right, and I want to use Grandpa's wand. <laughs> all right, it crackles with enormous power. This is burst two. You have never held such a wand. This is burst two, so I can hit all the minotaurs? Yes, you can hit them all. And it's uh, intelligence versus reflex. So, plus 15 versus reflex. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. 18? Okay. No, on the Miss. first one? All right. That's not great. Oh, yeah. 19 plus 15 versus right. reflex. You slash How about 19? Does 19 work for you? It totally does. Uh, 21. 21 versus reflex? Miss. Sure. And 16 plus 15. So, 31. Okay. Two of them you hit. <laughs> You're... Scythe goes right through them, slicing them in half. They explode into piles oh, of hamburger. Oh, thank God, they're minions. They are Ooh. minions. <laughs> yeah, you I was going to keep these people here all night. Tars. Oh, God. <laughs> they're from the oh, dollar God. menu. Fire Scythe. Fire Scythe. <laughs> By Jim Darkman. <laughs> all right. Uh, so they collapse into heaps of burger. Benwin. So am I supposed to kill your family still? No, kill the Minotaur. Leave your brother and your sister out of it? Well, I don't the, know about the brother-sister thing yet. The sister that, that you kissed? I need a blood test. <laughs> See who the daddy is. I mean, you skywalkered her. There's no <laughs> stopping that. I didn't Is totally this portal kiss her. still open? Yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah, links safe. those two places. Uh, okay. I'm going to admit something in front of all these people. I forget how charge works. <laughs> I know I'm super good at it. You look at what you want to charge, and you run for it. All right. And you get a plus one. I'm going to charge at this guy. Yeah, you're fine. Run, Boris! Ah! Do you say anything when you charge? I say, Leroy! <laughs> All right. I was built a charge, so wish me luck. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 20 versus AC? Mm -mm. You slip on some cat guts. <laughs> oh, cat guts are the worst. These sort are of like surf and ski on them. <laughs> Would you like to spend an action point? <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. But where did that, oh, that, so that puts me just right next to him? Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, I'm going to single him out so he grants, well, no, he's a minion. Fuck it. All right, here we go. What the fuck? Another four? Another 20, which we already know misses. Yes. So I'm just going to have a little seat. <laughs> Take just a gonna, sit down. Just gonna pull this chair up. <laughs> Take a little nap. You were cool in your head. I apologize <laughs> <laughs> to my friends. Uh, I'm gonna uh, run down these stairs, right? Yes. Or, uh, um, my movement is uh, down these stairs. So, uh, one, two, Clatterby will take an attack of opportunity as you run by. 
oh, asshole. And Olivia's like, Clatterby, no. Clatterby can see him just fine. Use my portal. I could portal, I guess. Yeah. Nah, but I already said I'm running down the right. thing, and swear, I'm like, swear. I'm not, I'm not gonna meta game. Yeah. I forgot yeah, about the portal, so. Uh, Does a yeah. 23 hit your armor class? Um, a 23 misses my armor class. You're fine. Suck it, mar guy who missed me. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Run off the bear, off the bear. Oh, oh yeah. So bear, I run yeah. down the thing and I I, 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 I land on top of the bear, okay. and then I like I flip in the air. Uh -huh. well, he might make and a then, roll and for then, that. And then as I'm coming down, I sort of like barrel roll a little bit, and then I flip again, and then I come down here and I land just like this, so I'm flanking this guy. Um, Whoa, that and, is cool. Yeah, and it's super cool. And there's like rock music playing while I do it. And you're like you're on a BMX. Yeah, and I'm like I'm like gleaming cubes on my way there. And then you fail uh, your acrobatics. And as I go. and as I uh, same team. And as I uh, as I, as I come down, uh, I use my um, avenging echo against him, uh, which is uh, 16 plus AC. Oh, oh wow. wow! I rolled a one. <laughs> I believe I, I believe I've earned a critical failure song, gentlemen. Critical. <laughs> critical fail. Where, where, what key are we in? <laughs> critical fail. For critical fail. Ayo fail. Made a critical fail. It's not all bad. No. Uh, and I can't, I can't do anything else. <laughs> Jerry? I did get a song. What's that? You need to wrap this You also pulled a muscle right in your there. groin. So hold on. Oh, Ooh. I hate that. The guy. Ow. The war staffs Ow. are necromancers. They are. These creatures are reconstituted from beef. Yes. Are they undead? Yes. I'm going to fuck them up the ass. <laughs> Is that a daily? <laughs> no. There's a lot of dick in your window in this game. <laughs> oh, really? It's been a lot. <laughs> and that's me saying that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn undead. <laughs> oh, a classic! Are you I going to brandish your symbol? Thing, you know, but we like it. It's something we do for fun. So now you're undead too? No, 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 I don't transform. <laughs> Jim, I understand. I don't transform into a creature of undeath. I tell them to go away. And I tell them to go away with incredible damage. Oh. Uh, wisdom versus will. All right. First attack. 23 versus will. Success. Uh, second attack. Cool. Even better. All yeah. right. Hamburger goes flying across the room and splatters all over Aofel as they are banished away. Oh! Oh! First of all, let me save you a lot of time. We're better than you. <laughs> Each of us individually are better than you. If we all hit you at once, you will explode. Listen to him! He says, point taken. <laughs> you are my brother. <laughs> I'm the awesome brother. That is so wrong. <laughs> and Olivia okay. says, Come, brother. All will be well. In for a penny, in for a pound. All right. Maybe yeah. it'll bring us. <laughs> no. No. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Don't, don't. I know it's so wrong. Don't be your come, brother. No. 
Percival will say to you also that said. you are a dark magic. Dark magic, dark magic. <laughs> and today I wish I wasn't. Ooh, and right. uh, he will get waltzed off by Ooh, Olivia, burn. and they will live happily ever after. Yeah. <laughs> as, you, as you walk by the staff, just mage hand it up off the ground and <laughs> fix this shit. Yeah. Thunk. Yes. And then I want to activate All the right. ball. You go it's up and you confront now. this yeah. massive orb and you... Do I need an arcana check? Yes. Plus 16. Ooh. 27. Yes, you own it. <laughs> and as soon as you do, you can guide the house and its various scattered parts, which I guess Percy got rid of so nobody else could interfere with, you know, what he was sure. doing. Uh, you can try to reconstitute the house and land it wherever you wish. Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. Disneyland, Disneyland. <laughs> Disney World. Plus. Disney World. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, um, uh, I will do Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Not the packs. <laughs> the packs. Take us. Freeport. Let's go to Freeport. That'll really fuck everything up. I want to go to Baldur's Gate. Sigil. Sigil. Yeah, Sigil. Let's go to Sigil. Yeah. All what right. happens in Sigil? All right, so Jim is like, he's got the staff up against the orb, and he's steering it, and it's going here, there, and everywhere. Where it's going to land, we'll just have to find out next time. the mansion you'll never know where it's gonna land and thank you nicely done sir <laughs>